How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to Why Aliens Might Already Be On Their Way To Us by In A Nutshell. Alright, so here we go again, man. Like, In A Nutshell has another video that's, like, really, really amazing. Or at least for me, anyway. I love space, and I love, like, your body. Like, in... Whoa. <laughs> Biology, I guess I should say. But, like, a long story short, I just... I love science in general. And, like, the science ones and the body ones, I'm trying to say, is my favorite ones. And, like, this is space. So I'm gonna be very, very excited for this one. And it's not just space, but it's about, like aliens and stuff like that and like I'm, I'm a huge believer that like space is a big big very big place you know like it's massive so like for us to be the only life forms out there that's like that's impossible right it has to be so like i'm really really excited for this and just to see what's to come so without any further ado here is why aliens might already be on their way to us it's our first limited oh. drop featuring our oh. cosmic pioneer birds they have and real stuff space adventures only for a limited time on the kutzkazak shop it's not the birds having the products the or anything is magnificent oh yeah vast. it is i was just talking about Hundreds that of billions it's of big galaxies, trillions of stars and even more planets if you imagine what's gonna look like in the future though habitable that might be then now. the universe should be teeming with life and yet we see nothing only vast emptiness kind of depressing where is everyone else the answer to this riddle is like, out there exciting as it is creepy we are early born oh. before almost all other life oh but very soon this may change my not man. only might aliens appear they could quickly surround us an irreversible oh, competition for the universe might be about to begin but is would it be a competition though we don't know we don't know anything about squirrel why do you have a squirrel just don't eat the squirrel <laughs> While this video is based on scientific papers, we're presenting interesting ideas based on little data. I and love their videos when they do that. So take them with a grain of salt. I will. Okay. We need to look at three at least essential to the most enjoyable to understand the videos. galactic competition. One, how fast can bacteria build spaceships? Uh, uh, what? To become a star-faring civilization, life you as know, elaborate? we know it needs that was the, the master tower. I saw that. of very hard tower. steps. It starts with dead stuff turning into the building blocks of life. Oh. Then it needs to organize into self-contained cells. Those uh -huh. cells have to learn to work together to form multicellular organisms. So you were literally giving me this the timeline until complex creatures of when a bacteria learn to makes use a spaceship tools and language. It is. <laughs> Civilization has to be formed from cultures that value progress and technological development. Right on. And then they need to actually what game that is, beyond it reminds their me of home it. planet. Hubert, something like that. On Earth, life appeared basically as soon as the oceans formed. Oh! But then, it took two billion years to make the step from single cells to multicellular organisms. Oh, and there we go! two billion more for us to appear. <laughs> Dude, that is Culture, so freaking cool. Civilization and space travel developed super quickly, though. Do things always take that long? Yeah, you give Americans a competition, and they're fast. like, oh, we'll do it. Also, passing one step oh. does not mean the next one is guaranteed. Multicellularity evolved over 25 times Hiya. independently on Earth, but there's only have been one species us. that builds spaceships. We don't know how many steps life needs to pass and how long they take to give rise to a technological civilization, but there oh, are probably that one many, advanced. and it's likely that on trillions of planets, life has been trying <laughs> for billions of years. Oh, Since you have the perspective like that, man. Technological civilizations out there. It might well be that oh. we are a rare exception. No Man's Sky? We might be among the first, or even the you reverted first back to the first uh, update. in the Milky Way. But this is just one piece of the puzzle. On top of that, we may have just hit the perfect time window. Elaborate? Why does humanity exist now? Excuse me. That's actually a very good question. Is already I don't know if you're going to answer it. Years old, but it's unlikely that many other technological oh. civilizations had a chance well, to appear before us. Who are you? Us. Because in the earlier universe, just add an life I. would have had a pretty hard time to emerge, let alone thrive, because it was such a hostile environment. You Early don't say! Constantly blew up, I was about to say, the stars blowing up and shit. And supermassive black holes vomited massive amounts of radiation. Enough to sterilize galaxies wording, over man. and over again. Our sun was born right at the end of this cosmic death show. The universe has never been more welcoming to life than it is That's now. That's what's dumb, dude. So like, humanity our universe isn't even... a convenient spot in time. Maybe the earliest reasonably possible for life to thrive. What about the future? Oh, why are you the angry, Mr. Sun? The sun? brighter than 90% of the stars in our galaxy, 
and will keep getting brighter. In about a billion years, and then it's gonna it go will boil bleh. all of Earth's oceans and then become a giant that swallows it whole. Neat. So in the galactic context, the sun is very short-lived. <laughs> Most stars are red oh, dwarfs that, that can sustain habitable planets for tens of trillions of years. Life on these planets has an incredibly long God, time window artwork, to man. and sucker for it. the hard steps. Even knowing nothing about how rare or common life is, is that this makes fire? it way more likely for technological civilizations to appear sometime in the future than oh, wow. in the past. Wow, kind of colonize because the shit out of that. civilizations appear at random oh. in the Milky Way within a time window of a trillion years, player then leave, very though. few, if any, would appear before today. Gotta focus on everything. Then a couple more arrive in this oh. period of a billion years that we're in. Now it's a party. Before all star-faring civilizations that could ever exist okay. emerge altogether. I get you. This weird tsunami-like distribution is the result of both the hard steps model and something else. A sort of something deadline else. for any space-faring oh. civilization. Okay. Any civilization coming after will find it hard to have room to survive. So all potential life has oh, to okay. That, that's that's what he's trying to say. I'm like, what Humanity are you talking about? Deadlines now, because otherwise we might have missed this. It's kind of like settlers of Catan or something what? like that. Like or eventually, there's gonna be no space, deadline? even though the universe doesn't. Why aren't aliens expand? already on Earth? Humans are curious, expansionist, like, uh, and world hungry war, for energy. End of the world, whatever it's We've called. We've spread over the world and made it our own. Our technology has been improving Manure. over time. First, slowly then breathtakingly fast if these yeah things it seems like as soon as uh, the internet came to be and our descendants want to prosper technology they will really escalate space. we could construct a dyson swarm for endless energy dyson swarm. and transform planets into new homes we could cross interstellar distances God, and man, us to reach for callbacks into the other videos stars. i love it if we have the motivation seems like they're making sure you're paying attention a galactic civilization a civilization Just that does wordy, this sort bit. of stuff can be called loud because its activity it's creates loud. noise. I get what you mean, though. Signs that can be detected from far away. Ew. Imagine someone in a forest cutting down trees, starting fires, and laying down roads. I don't want the to. The more intense their work, the easier they are to notice. Yeah, An expanding that's a really good way to put it, though. Would probably be hard to miss. Our telescopes would pick up all that energy. And we would clearly identify artificial Whoa, interference that's a detailed with stars human. and planets. Usually more cartoony. Another consequence of this business is that it's <laughs> very disruptive to the environment. Oh, there's the squirrel! Clearing a forest means the end of its wildlife. Human activity has left no chance for a squirrel civilization Whoa. to appear. Not because we hated squirrels, it's simply that the thought that they might want to do that at some point. I mean, some people might hate squirrels. Minds, they go to work for them. Similarly, if Scrolls now civilizations beef. were running around the galaxy in the past, terraforming planets, or harvesting the energy of stars, they may have prevented our existence. Had aliens started oh. colonizing Earth while we were still sludge in the it's oceans, that, that sludge would oh, that's have us. turned into humans. <laughs> this is how that's what's like really hard to like wrap your brain around, man. That's why you the have to believe in a higher power, or at least like my life, but there may only be a short window for it to spread and thrive. Even if allowed to be excited though with naturally occurring life it's and like expands around them like I can take it a grain of salt reserves, but any civilization it's still really cool to think about would not be able to expand ever trapped forever on a tiny island oh, but here we are. <laughs> so loud aliens here we are jumping probably TikTok. never here what about aliens that don't expand they would be quiet aliens okay they're probably limited to one star system and don't have a noticeable impact on their cosmic surroundings. Us? Humanity is like this right now. We wouldn't be able to detect ourselves it. from the other side of the Milky Way. If they stay oh. quiet forever, it's maybe because alone. of their culture or abilities, then they, then they, think they are not they're really alone. a concern for us. We only have one sample to draw from, humanity. Oh, right oh. Now, we are on the path to becoming <laughs> I was about now. to say, it's like, what? <laughs> if we're not special and succeed anyway, than any other civilization with the motivation I and love resources that artwork, to man. It's would so eventually cool. expand beyond Just you. its planet of origin. You're special. Okay, what are the consequences of all these assumptions and ideas? Why don't I see the other ones? Grave consequences. Race, Race to, the, to stars. the stars. I love it. If we are really early, then eventually others will catch up with us. Civilization will be superior. All over the place. Not really, probably. And these new aliens will look at space, see no signs of life and come to the same conclusion. Yeah, that's what I was they talking about. They exist because loud civilizations have not yet taken over everything, 
But it only takes one loud civilization Why? to crowd them out of the legitimately gave me a jump scare there. They, like us, will face an important decision. Oh. It's like Men in Black with the cat, take it the easy, universes in the marble. And to their planet for as long or as possible, collar, whatever you want to call it. Or do they start expanding to take a chunk of the galaxy before someone else arrives? Buddy. Meeting others does not necessarily mean war or oh. conflict. Oh, hey, yeah, he's a nice alien. That new borders it's all saying at the very beginning. Limits that may persist forever. In the worst case, a civilization could be completely enveloped by the empires of others, eternally doomed to be a galactic backwater without control oh. over their fate. <laughs> so if we want to see to the galactic adults table, we best get to work. If we really are early, we have an incredible opportunity. Yeah, but that seems self <laughs> thousands or even millions of planets according to I don't our like colonize and all of it. Leave some for and the rest of it. Yeah, leave some for y'all guys. Others, Especially you. Greet them I'm and covering them him as he calls. Wouldn't that be nice? I think so. Wait. What's what? this? Advertisement? We finally received a signal from the Cosmic Pioneers crew that we lost contact with 10 years ago. Wait, what? Through a special imaging technique called illustration. We Lies. were able to reveal what happened to them and immortalize no. them in our very first drop collection. That's actually really dope, man. That's how you do a merch drop. And scarves will only what was that? For a short was he going time, through the, so the encounter? I want that one, man. It's a if comic you want to explore the vast universe from the comfort of your own home, we've got a lot of amazing As space I do. and science-inspired products for you. All of our products are designed God, I swear, to I keep telling myself I'm gonna get one of their posters. I already got the ducky. Part of the science story but now I gotta to get tell. So start your journey on our channel and continue it with one of our posters, notebooks, or plushes. No, just hey. every purchase. <laughs> I got the last part. Funds what we do on this channel. Yes. Thank you so much Waiting for, the for your support. And never stop dreaming of space there adventures. There it is. Spaghettification. What? What? So, all right, man, that was just really, really enjoyable. I love that, like, the the thing that, I know I said this in a lot of their other, like, the newer videos, but, like, the stuff that they decide to talk about in the late, the newer videos are, like, really, really cool to me. They, like, they seem like they're addressed to, like, to me. Like, I know that's not, obviously, that's not true, but, like, it, it kind of feels like that because, like, it seems like they're asking questions that I didn't think I'd know the, I'd need to ask, you know? Like, the thing I always say in the Acoustic Gap videos, but, like, long story short, it's just really fascinating stuff. And, yeah, like, these types of videos, it's like he said at the very beginning, you know, take it with a grain of salt like this is just pretty much using our imagination like some science is behind it but like a lot of it's imagination and stuff like that and like I, I don't fault it for the I don't fault the channel or anything like that for doing that like I think that's really really awesome and like how I say in the past and stuff like that that like opens the door for people's like enthusiasm for science or like enthusiasm for like learning what's out there in the universe and stuff like that for having this for an example so like seeing like how it started and stuff like that I, I know I'm going jump jumping like crazy but like my brain's like mushroom right now but like I just love at the very beginning when it was like okay well how long does it take a bacteria to make a spaceship <laughs> like I didn't know where it was going from there and then that kind of like drove what was going to happen like along the entire video you know so like I love that I love that so much and like the it's not it, it kind of like pumps the brakes with the scientific part of it and like obviously it's talking more about anima the imagination but like because it does that it leads to like a little like a tiny bit more enjoyable you know like the the more fake stuff is the more fiction it is you know like it's funny and entertaining and funny at all times but like i'm babbling at this point so i'm gonna end it here but like long story short i love this video i love kurtz to get what they do is just nothing short of amazing man like trying to like give as much information as they can for free by the way so thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell become a member you get videos a day early and check out the merch so with that said i have been master zero that has been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode later days